And today I'm going to teach you how to make risotto. You're going to need all of these ingredients here. Yeah. On this recipe here, it calls for white rice, but my wife is more of a health nut, so I'm going to use a cup of brown rice today and instead. Of start getting my garlic and onion ready. For the garlic, I just take it, press it, and it's easy to peel, just like so. And the skin comes right off. Voila. Butter to brown the onion. I'm not going to brown the rice a lot more than that. And go ahead and take your knife. You can tell how to cook. Use the big wazoo knife. I'm just going to get it ready to saute. So I'll dice it up. This baby needs to be sharpened a little. Now. This is actually a little excessive amount of onion because it calls for a small onion and all I had was a medium. So just an FYI on that. Then I'll put it in a pan, I mean in a pot. About a small onion for it. I love onion so We'll make it a big small onion. And you want to simmer that on low heat. Over here, let me get that. Add your butter. Get on in there. You don't really need a whole one, I don't think. Up. And you want to load your garlic in the press. Add that in there. Get all that good stuff on the rice in there. Now that everything is starting to brown, I'm going to record it. I'm going to add some chicken broth. Some wine. Heat up a little more. A little salt and pepper to taste. I like a little salt. And I love pepper. And you mix it all up, stir it all up, bring it to a boil, and let it simmer. That's a good slow simmer there. It's going to be yummy. You want to stir it occasionally, about every three to five minutes. As you can see, it's starting to come along nicely. It's still got a little ways to go. I do notice that brown rice it takes a lot longer to cook than the white rice would because this, this was white it would be done and this is like two-thirds of the way done 
Then at the end, I added my mushrooms. And voila. Nice, juicy, good risotto right there.